What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Some screenshots for you tonight of Cal Anderson's football history. And again, man, we're looking at player models in these independent games that are really sharp in great representations of what we want to see in a football game. This first one here, you can see a lot of skin tones, a lot of different reflections. I like the way these visors look. I think Backbreaker like set the standard that games models have to be shown with visors in them. I mean, keep in mind, everything in Backbreaker have visor, but still, you know, to me, the perspective of this player looks very good. If there's one critique I would give it would be the cleats look more like a military boot than anything else. But, I mean, that's something that's really ticky-tack and small. Uh, we go to the next one here. Kind of the same obvious you know, layout and player, but just a different angle. And, again, we talk about the shadows, the lighting. To me, the shadows are what I look for in a lot of games. You remember the first time we saw shadows in football games. It was just like an orb underneath the player. There was no definition or shape to the shadow. So to see them now in the games matching the actual player is, is pretty impressive. And obviously a big step for these independent games that it took a long time to get in the major games. And then lastly, we kind of got a close-up of the side here. And the skin textures to me look great. I mean, the, the I mean it's really the detail. You know, it really is the detail in the muscle, the way you can see different wrinkles and shading in the arm different definition through the arm and then we talked about this with other games but the definition of the jersey and the way everything is paneled together the way everything looks different has a different texture to it reflects the light differently these are all really important things when we talk about immersion in a game does the player look realistic the only maybe critique i would have in this particular screenshot would be the ear hole in the helmet looks a little bit jaded but those are all things that can be fixed and maybe if you look at it from this angle the helmet is a little bit small but I know helmet size is kind of a personal preference. I've seen screenshots I like. A lot of people would say the helmet is big. You know, in this one, you may think it looks perfect. I may think the helmet looks a little bit on the smaller side. But the thing is, overall, we're getting to the point where there's a quality product and a quality finished product. And I know a lot of people are quick to beat up Cal. You know, I put a video out originally about Cal that was really not too flattering, to be quite honest with you. But now me and Cal have kind of worked through that. He's done some interviews. we got a great working relationship. And I know that he's had promises of gameplay or this, that, and the other. And yeah, those dates have came and went. But here's the important thing to know about Cal. Number one, he's basing this game on community feedback and responses. That's all the independent developers are. But Cal has had the problem of making some mistakes along the way with the people he's worked with or the way he's brought the game out initially with the demos. And he's learned from them. And in learning from them, he's communicated cleaner to us. He's waited and got the product to where he wants it to be before he releases it. And I know you guys want the game tomorrow. We all want these games tomorrow. But I really respect and appreciate Cal holding back on things until they're right. Because that shows to me a commitment to learn from his mistakes, make the game better and improve. And that ultimately is going to come through in the final product when we see it. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. Back in the week with more commentary.